You can mark them all. Okay. I don't want to. We're gonna have to put this one up first, maybe. We'll just slide everything over just a little bit so we can get around these pipes. We're gonna have to do something different here too. We won't put those studs in until after. Make it as light as possible so we can pick the whole thing up. That we can drop it over the... Pick it up, you mean like without the skid loader? Yes, or with the skid loader. Well, then why does it need to be as light as possible? Oh, up in the air? Oh, because it's going to go up in the air and okay. then we're going to have to maneuver all that. Oh, I didn't measure. It's two and three eighths. See when I push down in the pencil, like you can see all the saturation of... I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but it, it just puddles even when it's not raining. Obviously, these got rained on. But even when it's not raining, that's how the treated lumber is until it dries out. So that's a screw type bit. And instead of like having to push down on this thing, it actually pulls into the wood and cuts it. So that's a Lennox, or no, it's a spider bit, I think. But they work really well. And that's just for the anchors. So we'll use the biggest hole sauce, two and a half inch in this kit. So you put it in here, you screw it in. I just go all the way. And then you back up for, then these collets will fit and push right in there. So then this is somewhat loose. It gives a little bit of play. Um, this isn't my best drill for this one. But anyway, we'll line this up. Wanna give me other, uh, maybe give me the DeWalt drill. You always gotta clean these off because they're, <clears throat> this wood is so wet, it likes to stick in there. And if you don't, it'll actually just start burning and just trash out your bit. Take forever. See how it just gums it up. And then these blades get hot. Like right now it's really hot. just take it out and clean it and then when you're drilling don't just push straight down i always kind of just rock it back and forth all not back and forth but just like, kind of like in a round circular clockwise motion i actually smoked this drill on a job a couple years ago a few years ago now with a, i know you're supposed to be using an electric drill for the no not the impact the drill It's like wet cardboard, that's what it feels like. No, oh. Oops, don't do that. Ugh. Let's use this new one. Make sure it's on the drill setting, then it won't stop. New is better. See it smoking down there? That's what I do. That's super hot. Mm-hmm. Not too hot to handle. Like you. These flies are annoying today. So my grandpa Fred always used to say, it's gonna rain, because the flies are bugging you, and then they won't leave you alone. So this is the part that a lot of people won't show you because it takes forever to drill through three days. There you go. So then anyway, now it just went through, now it's stuck in here. So what I'll do is just back off this collet, hold on to the back side, yeah, it's hot. Pull it out and then I just push it out. It's hot. Put it back on. Back off just that little bit and push it in there. That hole's drilled. I need the kit for the other one too. Now we'll do this one over here. It's already marked them out at the center here. In the center from our line, 
that way. Moving it up and down as you're doing it too somewhat cleans it. And when I'm getting closer to the end, I do it more often because if there's too much packed in there, when you go to take that block out, it'll get hard and stick in there. Then you gotta put a screwdriver in here. That's what all these little pieces are for so you can have pry points like that. Now that falls right out. That's how it should be. That's how I usually do it. So now I'll back the collet up here. Hold that. I'll just set this upside down because it's hot right now. And now for these pipes here, I don't know what size. I just want to make sure it's big enough to go through there. Which is that one right there, which is an inch and three quarter. Okay. And this is same thing, back off, push it on. And then you can see through that hole, line that up with the, the bit in the center. And let her eat. And then you always know when you're coming to the end, because you're you already know how deep or how it's inch in inch and a half. So once it gets to about that point, you know you're coming to an end. That's why I, I try to clean out extra amounts at the end. Like that, and then it pops through. Just like that. Almost like I knew what I was doing. So obviously I don't use the inch and a three quarter as much as the two and a half because it's I still got the paint on there. And you saw when I had this off, it fit just right over this pipe. So that's the ID, that's in inner diameter. And then now I'm gonna get the size of this kerf, which is about a 16th of an inch, but then the teeth are offset that way. So it cuts a little bit better. So I'm actually gonna be, it's, this hole's gonna be about probably eighth of an inch bigger all the way around. It's so about a quarter inch if you slide it to one side. So should I should have an issue putting it in. So back that off. So I'm drilling the hole for the vent pipe for the utility room. And so now when I'm drilling it, it's a two and a half inch hole saw. It's a two and a half inch pipe. So it's just gonna be a little bit bigger in diameter because the kerf of the, the blade itself and the offset teeth. And so that way when we put it on, we'll be able to get around the tape and everything. Anyway, when I'm drilling the hole saw, you got about half inch exposed drill bit here. That's to get right on your mark that you can see through this hole here. And this is for prying, this hole's for prying that excess piece out. But anyway, uh, I put it on and then I don't go just straight down. I kind of walk the blade in a clockwise motion like this and it helps us with the cut and then back off every once in a while to clean the teeth out. Otherwise it'll start smoking and getting hot and smoking. And not good. Like that. And this here, make sure it's tight. So I'll back it up a little bit. Now what tight, full. Don't do that. Ooh, that's hot. 